Morning, y'all. I uh, <laughs> made it through my catastrophe of uh, <laughs> the rain soaking my hammock. Um, got a fire going this morning. Uh, Joel was over here before I was. And uh, now we're enjoying some uh, swamp water coffee. Mmm. Good little fire. <gasps> Why can't we just have a stray raccoon stroll by, Joel? <laughs> would, Hate yeah. to say I'd murder it, but I would. <laughs> uh, we'll see what, uh, what's day, what is this, day five? Yeah, basically day five. I got here Monday and started camping yeah, then. Would, yeah, our day five. We do your day five. Yeah. Doing good. Had an extreme headache last night. I don't even understand why or what the deal was but when i once i woke up this morning it was gone but it it rode through all night i mean extreme headache it's got to be lack of sugar or something like that i have no idea mm, could be the stroll, yeah, yeah but either that or the lack of uh other things <laughs> we'll see y'all later all right, you guys. Uh, so obviously the weather's been kind of crappy. I haven't been able to charge my batteries um, on my phone a whole lot, which I do a lot of filming with my phone or the GoPro. So I've had to be real selective as far as what I film. Um, but check out this little spoon that I whittled yesterday whenever the weather was bad. Um, so we've been doing some bushcraft stuff. I'm actually fixing to make a crawfish trap because uh, it's flooded here and all of the animals are displaced. The hunting has been crap. The fishing has been not so good. Um, so last ditch effort, we're gonna try to catch some crawfish. Um, the temperature's dropped quite a bit, but hopefully the crawfish might be active. Uh, Anyways, it's something to kind of pass the time and a fun little project to do. So I'll try to film um, some of it. I'll definitely show you the trap and whenever we get ready to, uh, whenever we get ready to put it in the, um, put it in this little swamp area right here and see if we can't catch some, uh, some crawfish for dinner. So stay tuned. So first thing you gotta do I went and pulled some uh, green vine out of the trees. That's gonna be, that's what's gonna make the hoop of my trap. And then we're gonna try to get a couple of little, uh, like palm leaves and use as part of the structure also. So, I got a good, uh, good pile of those. So let's go find some long, palm leaves and I want them long because I want to make my trap uh, a little bit uh, tall because it's going to have a funnel on either both end or on one end that the crawfish will crawl into so yeah this is perfect see how long this one right here is all the way down here to the bottom so chop that sucker down So I've taken the palm, the stalks of the palm, and I split them down to where I've got several different, basically these are gonna be my structure to hold, uh, to hold the trap kind of together that I'm gonna wrap the vines around first. And then I took a vine and I made a hoop like this, okay? Kind of crude, it's about the size that I want. I'm going to take and make uh, one or two more of those. So. Just keep weaving it inside of itself. Perfect that circle, make it a good beefy, beefy ring like this. All right, 
I'm gonna get this wrapped up and I'll show you the next spot, the next uh, step. All right, y'all. So I've taken one ring and then the other ring, and you can see I've built kind of this cylinder. And then I'm gonna take and weave in between here all of the vines that I just collected and make like a big cylinder. And that's kind of step two to uh, my trap here. All right, guys, show you a little progress. Take that cylinder and just start weaving the vines around. We've got, uh, we're gonna fill this whole section up with vines and then that's gonna be a good cylinder trap and then we'll trim all this crap off the ends and uh, make a cone. Pretty cool. Okay, y'all, I've got my basket woven, weaved, however you want to say it. Got a bottom on it. And then I'm going to make uh, the funnel that goes on the front. So this is going to be my, uh, it's going to be my crawfish trap. So I'm going to get to making the funnel. And then we're going to go set this sucker. All right, y'all, I think we got it. Kind of half-assed it on the funnel, but uh, I think it'll work. Um, I've got my bait in there, which is from that perch that Joel caught last night. I've got it kind of suspended on a bait stick right in the middle of the trap. And uh, actually, I'm going to move it further down because I think my... Yeah, that might be all right. Um, anyways, we're going to go set this thing and see what we can catch. Looks pretty good. Got the bait in there. It's all sealed up. No holes big enough. Maybe a little bitty crawfish can get in there, but I'm wanting some big ones. Let's go set it. Perfect. Now we just kind of sit and wait. I want to thank all you guys that are watching this little survival series here in Florida. We, uh, I really appreciate your views. And if you want to leave any comments or questions or anything like that down below, also you guys go try this out on your, on your own public land. We're out here hunting and fishing and scavenging around. Uh, also make sure you hit the, uh, Hit that subscribe button. Um, what else? Oh, if anybody wants a hat, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, we can work something out there. I can get you guys. Uh, you're looking at 25 bucks for a Flatlander hat. Um, I think I've got some stickers coming up pretty soon as well. So thanks again. And uh, we'll see what happens in the crawfish trap. Check our trap in Well, that sucks. Nothing yet. It's a great way to end scenes, too. I figured out. All right, y'all, we're headed out on a little coon hunt tonight. Doing something a little bit different than what we normally do here. I'm pretty positive it was 
was a deer. is but there's I would think this would be the raccoon capital of the world down here in Florida and we can't seem to find a single raccoon we've seen two deer and that is it it's insane they must be they must be scared they must be like um I instinctively know that when you're this close to the water and it rains heavily that it has the potential to flood. Or maybe they experience a bit of the flooding and they're like, we're fucking, we're getting to a safe distance. I don't know. Maybe so. It's insane. I'm just trying, trying to reason this. Um, yeah, I was just telling, I was just telling our viewers here that this has got to be the raccoon capital of the world. Yeah. And yeah, I've, not, I've not seen a single raccoon. Like nothing. Like we haven't even spotted a mouse. I mean, we've seen two deer is the most, it is the only mammals that we have found. Every time I've been out here before, I've heard them running around the camp at night every single damn night. Yeah, something's off. I don't know. Welcome to the not so jungle. <laughs> well, y'all, I just got back uh, from our little hunt. No luck at all. Pretty much starving after just eating a few fish. Um, anyways, it's like nine o'clock. Um, and, uh, try to get some rest we're gonna hike out of here tomorrow um it's pretty cold so we're probably gonna hike the long way around and uh so we don't have to go through the water and stuff like that but well y'all we made it through the last night and it's got to be right at freezing this morning <clears throat> the sun's just now creeping up i'm getting up making some hot water thank you everybody for watching punch that subscribe button get out there and adventure joel anything good to say to the people we love you guys <laughs> y'all go check out joel's channel joel v bushcraft on youtube um i told him he needs to get a facebook page going also y'all go check him out badass uh survival school I'm sure he's going to have a few more uh, classes and outings and stuff like that that you guys can participate in. See ya. All right, y'all, that's it. I'm all packed up. Got my pack loaded. Camp disassembled. Um, everything deconstructed around our campsite. You guys, make sure anytime that you go out into these areas, try not to leave any trace. Pack in, pack out. Don't be trashy. Don't leave stuff laying around. Pick up your trash. Don't, you know, leave it the way it was before you got there. So, um, that's it. Going to be headed back to Texas this afternoon. I think we're going to stop by a spring that's local, and we're going to go grab some lunch because we haven't had much to eat. So, uh, nor have we had much sleep either. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. You guys, we are, uh, we're too close to this spot to not actually come out here and check it out. So supposedly this is the world's largest spring surrounded by Cypress Swamp. Uh, here it is, the Wakahulu Springs.
Oh, dude. It's definitely warmer than out here. Oh, really? We've been out in the swamps all week and now we find a gator right here where we're swimming. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, we want a gator right there. <laughs> <Where>? <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> 